What's up, y'all? I'm getting ready to put some catfish in the air fryer. My mother-in-law left this at my house. She forgot to take it with her. She said she was going to take it with her. But anyway, this is Nona Bell's Genuine Golden Fry Fish Breading. I want to say we got this from Walmart. I don't know. But if you can't find it at Walmart, I'm sure you can find it at Kroger or hmm, Target or... Sure, you probably can find it on Amazon. I don't know. Get that screenshot now. Okay, so that... Some lemon pepper and some paprika. Y'all, this does not have any salt in it. This is just really for color to make your fish look really pretty. It has a little bit of flavor to it, but just not, you know, not salt. So, yeah. The lemon pepper has a little bit of salt in it, but we're not using, like, real full-on salt. So, yeah. So, that's one, two, three, four, including the fish. And then I'm going to get my cooking spray. All right, I went back and got my cooking spray. This is the Pam olive oil spray. So, yeah, y'all, I'm going to spray this fish down. Why? Because I don't want my fish to be dry. It is what it is. When it come down to my air fryer, I mean, I ain't trying to be that healthy. Like, I need to put a little something, something on my fish. So, even though I'm using a little bit of oil, I feel like it's not, you know what I'm saying, it's not going to be that bad. So really that's five ingredients. I just turned the fish over y'all. I turned it on the bottom side. I'm gonna season the bottom side first and then I'm gonna turn it over. So look, I'm gonna go in with the lemon pepper first. You don't need a lot y'all. You don't need a lot, I promise. But it's just like, you know, when I'm cooking with fish, I gotta have a little lemon pepper. That's just policy. Shout out to policy. Cuz, what's up? I turned the fish over on the top side. Now we're gonna get some old lemon pepper on here. I don't know why my lemon pepper looking like that. But anyway, probably because it's been so humid lately. But anyway, some of my spices are starting to clump up. So yeah. I just seasoned the top and now we're gonna get the breading going all right so all I did was put some of the fish fry in a ziploc bag I ain't put no extra seasoning or nothing in there I washed my plate off now I'm gonna sit my fish on top of the plate now I'm only doing four pieces, y'all. This is all I bought because that's what looked good to me at the time. So I got these fillets from Kroger. I've had some big fillets in my day, but I didn't want the real big ones because my air fryer is not that big, y'all. I want to say this is a 3.5 quart. I'll put it in the description though. But yeah, these are the ones that are not so big. So now I'm going to spray these. Okay, y'all, a very important step. I'm spraying this fish down really good, y'all. Okay, because this is a dry seasoning. I've done this a couple of times, y'all, and I can tell you that if you don't spray your fish down or put something on it, it's going to be a little dry. I mean, well, that's what happened to me every time, so... But y'all, spray this fish down because you need that fish to be moist. Okay. And then, I'm going to spray my air fryer basket too. I know everybody be like, well, you don't need to spray your air fryer, but this is what I'm doing for my recipe. Okay. I'm spraying it. That's how I like to do mine because I want a little crispy crust on there too. And since this is already healthy because it's air fried, why not? Matter of fact, put some more spray on it. I don't do dry fish, honey. I'm from Mississippi. We don't get down like that. So since I'm trying to be healthy, yeah. But anyway, let me load it up. You don't need that much spray in your air fryer. Just a little. All right. So I'm going to get two pieces in here at a time. 
that's the first one see if you have a lot of dry patches on your catfish then your catfish gonna have them dry fried spots i mean i'm trying to be a little healthy but you know what i'm saying like i said i ain't trying to be that healthy so look spray look spray some more on there for real this is my fish but you know however you want to do yours you don't have to put any spray on it y'all but i'm putting some on mine all right let's load it up All right, so I'm gonna set the timer now. All right, I got my air fryer set on 15 minutes and I'm gonna do it at 400 degrees. I'm not sure how this is gonna work out y'all, but we'll see. Got six minutes left, let's see what we got so far. Y'all, I am not going to be flipping this fish. I repeat, I am not going to be flipping this fish. And you see that little dry spot right there? I got to spray that, okay? I'm going to spray it a little bit more. And then I'm going to let it cook the rest of the way. One minute left. All right. This is what we got after 15 minutes. I'm about to do a fork check. All right, so 15 minutes. Two decent sized pieces of catfish. We're gonna get them on a plate. Got a clean plate right here. Now, you don't need to like put it on no paper towels or none of that because this is a healthy version. So let's get it served up. Got it on a plate, so I wanted to get a close-up so y'all could see. And the fish is not dry. We gonna get in here though. See, it's fully cooked. I got a taste. Now y'all, you don't have to spray it that much now. You don't have to spray it that much. It is cooked all the way through. I like my catfish a little moist, but I need it to be done. So, uh, hmm, it's decent, y'all. I mean, ain't nothing like the real thing. Ain't nothing like that deep fried catfish, but this fish is not dry. This fish, look, look down in there. It's juicy. And I really think it's because of the cooking spray. So, Yes, Lord. Five ingredient air fried catfish. Don't get no easier than that, y'all. Try this one out and let me know what y'all think. I gotta eat. Thanks for watching.